today I'm going to explain why the TI and Spire CX calculator is the better calculator when compared to the HP Prime. Uh, we know the TI and Spire and uh, HP Prime are the top two best calculators in the world today being used in our educational system, in the STEM educational system. If you Google, if you search in YouTube, you will find certain portions, and I encourage you to please search in YouTube, wherein the HP Prime performs significantly faster than the DI Inspire. And I suggest you find those in YouTube. And if those formulas are of concern to you, then go ahead, choose the HP Prime. But let me tell you, that is the only advantage of HP Prime. For all other features, the TI Inspire beats the HP Prime by a thousand miles. Let me explain you that one, single feature in TI Inspire that really makes me decide to choose the TI Inspire CX calculator. That feature is the document-based system of the TI Inspire. This is the genius feature of the TI Inspire. When you turn on the TI Inspire, you will be lead to the home screen here and you can click new document and so you have the first page of your document. You can start your calculation here by initializing some variables like the airport and so on. And you can, for example, um, do some calculation like a, a squared plus. You get the idea, right? You can also uh, create list of numbers through vector like uh, three, so it's a list of numbers, and you can square this V, like, so it will individually square each member of the numbers here, and so on. You can in fact uh, create sine of B, and you can get a list of uh, signs of each of the elements. You get the idea. Uh, it also has a very vast list of APIs here in this catalog here. You can have a sum API and you pass the vector and it will sum all elements of the vector. So this catalog here is enormous, okay? Enormous. That's only one of the pages. There are two, three, four, five, six, and, and so on. I will not even go to the other pages. Now, this is still the first page of our document. We can create to add a second page through clicking here, insert, and let us try to choose geometry as the second page. And now we are in the second page of still the same problem. They are the same problem because it's still 1.1 and 1.2. They all belong to one. So I'll we are now in the geometry page. You can go to the geometry uh, menu here and create a circle. And let me try to, to select uh, two points within the circle. And then I will create a segment giving two points. See, a segment, you get the idea. And there, there are a lot of things you can do here, such as construction problems, see? For example, uh, you can create a perpendicular. See, if, there, if this is the point, and then this is the line, and you can see it is a construction geometric construction problem, given a point and a line, it creates a perpendicular from that. Um, other uh, features would be um, bisection, such as how to bisect, uh, um, how to, to find the midpoint here so if this is the first point and this is the second point then as you can see the midpoint is created here uh, this is a, a well-known construction problem 
and of course uh, let's create a line a line giving two points a line is uh, created and this is a line in, in contrast to a segment so the line goes on forever and there are a lot of tons here you can play around um, transformation translation rotation shapes would be parabola hyperbola triangle and so on all of the geometries shebangs are all here okay now enough of that we can create a third page further insert and we'll choose an excel uh, sheet so i'll choose the c column to be the to be the sum of the a column and uh, and the b column here and i'll copy this formula and copy it across the other cells there yeah. so now we have a packet excel file okay inside our calculator we have an excel file how cool is that excel file in your packet so we can use this in your when you eat in a restaurant or divide your budget if you have some budget uh, tracking so if i put uh, two three point one two three and uh, five here and it will create a sum here just like how uh, an excel file works okay one and one two and and so on you get the idea so now we have three pages first page second page third page so i go back to the first page here we have a variable a this variable is accessible to each of the page here in fact if i will create uh, add more page such uh, okay let me add one more page here and then if i will type a squared a plus b seven so the 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 variable a here three and four is so the pages are communicating in terms of the variables they they can see each other okay uh, let me see if i can change the variable here to um three point one four five nine and if i go back here so you get the idea guys enter page variable uh, communication however if you add a new problem insert new problem so you'll notice that this one has 2.1 whereas there, the other pages are all one point something one point x this time however is 2.1 and 2 on 2 point x so the a plus b here will no longer be uh, uh, the values of those are no longer accessible you get the idea you can continue to add more pages here guys many many pages based on what is available here in your insert okay um, statistics and so on uh, visualizations even a fight titan snippet you can add okay because this calculator supports python okay when you are complete with your cult computation you will exit this document and you're prompted to save the document in, into a calculator you, let's save that and um, uh, i'll type hello one two three and it is saved now into a file i can create a new document with a completely new set of blank canvas there is no a there is no b it is entirely blank okay i can also or i can load back what i previously created here and load it again and behold i'm back with my what i calculated a while ago i'm back you cannot do this in an hp prime okay you you can do it in hp prime but you will have, be having a lot of problems in how hp prime organize it so this document based system that ti inspire organizes its computation is the genius feature of ti inspire and what makes the ti inspire the superior device to learn mathematics because of the menu system of the document based system you can then exchange the documents with other users of the calculator out there in the community let me show you how here i have two pages steam one 
and you can see here a lot of documents that I can download from the TI website or from community website out there in the internet or you can share it with your friends like I will um, pin the loan for example if I load this document and you can see let me let us if I'll increase the mass and play it so this is just one example of a document out there that uh, that other um, users of the calculator are creating and and you can download you you can collaborate so it, it is because of this document based methodology where the TI Inspire shines very uh, very nicely so you can I can load other documents like um, for example buoyancy hmm. interesting or uh, what else And so on you get the idea because the documents can be saved and they can be they can be shared by by many people okay let me have a pie chart so that's the idea let me go to the to the other stem to folder inflection point okay so these are interactive um, uh, documents these are not just static documents but interactive interactive documents that you can you can use to to learn uh, advanced mathematics interesting so so I haven't explored all of these to come there are enormous okay so now I hope you can see now that because of the way that the the menu system in the user interface of the TI Inspire is based on a document based uh, method it allows you to organize your calculations better and it allows you to collaborate with the massive community of TI and SPAR users out there in the internet and you can learn together. So try to find this feature in a TI in a in a SV Prime. Okay, I challenge you find this explicit type of organization in a in an SP Prime. And as soon as you do that, you will immediately know what's the right choice for you so that's it